I'm Chef Alex Page. This is Dishing Up Durham, episode number 17. So every week I find a feature fried ingredient that's either grown or made here in Durham region. And then throughout the week, I give you two recipes, two videos uh, on how to use that feature ingredient. And this week I have a James Family Farm in the Dishing Up Durham kitchen, their pastured chicken. So I had the opportunity to go and meet Dallas out at the farm. Uh, the highlight, you definitely have to follow them just to check out their Scottish Highland cattle. Uh, they also have a beautiful barn that they built. And if you're interested in booking the barn or tours or photo shoots or whatever you're looking for, you can just message her on Instagram. And for me, I had, I've received this lovely chicken. So I had a whole chicken. I've broken it down into wings, uh, breasts and legs. And then we have some awesome uh, chicken carcass as well that I'm gonna be making stock with this week. But the first recipe of the week, I love this recipe. It's dead simple. It's kind of like, I think a crossover recipe of, it's still spring, it's still winter, but it's like almost spring. So like we're starting to kind of get maybe to a little bit of those spring flavors. So I am going to roast these chicken legs with chai spices and top it with a salsa verde. Let's dish it up. When I said this recipe is dead simple, I really do mean it's dead simple. First of all, I think one important tip for all of us now home cooks, you should go on YouTube, find a way, learn how to butcher your own chicken. It's generally cheaper to buy them whole, and you can also get your hands on some really awesome pastured chickens, like this one from uh, James Family Farm they're gonna come whole. So if you do yourself a favor and learn how to break one down, you can get so much more out of that product. So like I said, today we are gonna be working with the legs. So when we think of some of the flavors of chai, you know, there's like cardamom and cinnamon, cinnamon, <laughs> cinnamon, uh, and sometimes even uh, black pepper, right? And these all work really nice for roasting. And instead of providing, you know, on a recipe, this long list of spices, I thought, and this works like a charm, just take your favorite chai tea bag and we're gonna cut that open and we're just gonna add it into a bowl here, right? Just smell that. And the tea will actually add a level of flavor as well into the chicken. It works wonderfully. Mm. Into this as well, a pinch of chili flakes. You kind of pick how much you want here. I kind of like spice. And with the salsa verde that we're pairing it with, it kind of acts, you know, as a, it cools things down a little bit. So I'm gonna go for a good pinch of chili, a good pinch of salt. a good crack of pepper. And I mean a good crack. And then just give that a little mix. It smells incredible already. Get yourself a sheet pan with parchment paper. I'm just gonna pick out uh, the legs here and put them uh, on my parchment lined baking sheet. And then I just wanna drizzle them with olive oil and I'm gonna coat both sides uh, with this tea and spice mixture. Wow. Flip. Same deal. And we don't need too much oil here because we're gonna get lots of nice fat rendered out of these. 
uh, but a little bit will just help that get nice and golden and crisp, crisp, crisp up. Wow. Okay. And so I've just sprinkled all of that beautiful flavor on it, and then now get in there, give it a rub, make sure it's all coated nicely. And I mean, just look at that. Beautiful. So once you have those rubbed, have a look. Beautiful. These are going in the oven at 450 degrees Fahrenheit. And I want that oven really nice and hot uh, so that the skin gets really nice and crispy. And don't worry that it's that high, right? Because we're cooking this on the bone, the meat is going to stay really nice and tender uh, and juicy. And that skin is gonna go nice and golden and crispy. And with those spices, ah. Uh. Okay, in the oven, we'll be back. So my chicken is roasting away in the oven. Those uh, flavors already smell absolutely incredible. And I'm gonna show you a dead simple uh, sauce that I really like to serve with this, salsa verde. And feel free here, you know, to change things up. But the way I, I'm gonna make it uh, is with lots of fresh herbs, some nice citrus, and some nice salty uh, briny ingredients. So I'm gonna use an immersion blender and just in a container like this, I'm putting basil, fresh basil. I'm going to put a good handful of some fresh uh, parsley. And this is where you can change it up. So depending on what herbs you like, I mean, in here are great also cilantro, a mint, tarragon, nice flavors that you can add. Um, love these capers. Okay, so that's where we're getting that sort of nice uh, salty, briny little pop in the sauce. And also, okay, huge, huge fan of anchovies. I know a lot of people are like, ah. Um, I put one on the recipe. I'm going to, because I really love them. Mm. It's a shame if you don't like them. However, even if you don't like them, add one in here. You're not gonna taste like fishiness, but it adds a really nice depth of flavor. And again, a nice salty kick. So think of all those fresh herbs, capers, anchovies. And now we're hitting this with uh, some lemon zest. Once we've zested that lemon in there, let's go ahead and add the juice from it as well. So you can just imagine the, the aromas here are just, mm. but you can just imagine, you know, all of these different ingredients, how much flavor, how much zip this has. So a little bit of this sauce really does go a long way. And if you have any leftover, this goes great on um, any type of fish or grilled meat. You can also stir it through some yogurt to make like a great dip for veg. Um, you can thin it out with some olive oil and make a nice salad dressing. Speaking of that, really good quality olive oil for this. I have some Cora Nikki uh, Spanish olive oil from all of that. And then, you know, a good glug. We're gonna blend that all together. If you find it's not blending or it's too thick, you can always add a couple splashes of water. So this sauce is like dynamite. I didn't even have to add salt or pepper because we have so much flavor in there from the capers and the anchovies and the lemon and the herbs that it's just perfect the way it is. <clears throat> My chicken has come out of the oven and look at how crispy those chicken legs are. Ugh. And they smell incredible. And to serve this, I just roasted off some parsnips, tossed with a bit of olive oil and actually Gray Silo uh, Lavender Infused Maple Syrup. And Gray Silo Lavender Farm is across the street from James Family Farm. How cool is that, guys? So it's time to dish it up. Grab yourself a plate and let's do this. We're taking one of those really beautiful, oh my God, see what happens when, look at the bottom of that. Oh, when you cook it on this sheet pan, the fat renders out and it almost cooks in its own fat. So the bottom gets incredibly crispy, golden and delicious as well. So I'm just gonna put down that nice chicken leg, a couple of these beautiful 
roasted parsnips. Yes. And then we're just gonna go ahead and drizzle some of that beautiful salsa verde. Oh my God. And there you have it. James Family Farm Pastured Chicken Legs roasted with chai seasoning and salsa verde. So yum. We have those warm winter spices, but we have that zing and almost that hint of spring coming with that salsa verde. I cannot wait to dive into this. Uh, keep dishing up Durham. This week, I'm gonna be showing you one other recipe using James Family Farms pastured chicken, and I have the breasts left over, so I can't wait to show you what I'm gonna do with those.